Hello and welcome back. Susan Zumo here, intuitive and originator of Soul Patterning Harmonics. So how's everyone feeling since the eclipse? Are you feeling extra tired? Uh, has your body blown up? <laughs> has your body decided that it's really hungry and needs to eat more? How are you dealing with all of the energies that are coming in at this time? So not just the eclipse, which came in with a boom, and then that event wave is still vibrating out, right, from the center. And we will continue to feel its influences for quite a while. On top of that, we have a great influx of cosmic energy coming in, and there have been spikes in the Schumann resonance that will also uh, confirm this for you. So I would suggest that you look at that as a good guidance on what's going on with the planet and what's going on with the energies coming in. So we are being bombarded with high frequency energies from all directions. And if you're like me, your body is working overtime trying to keep up with it. That can mean disturbed sleep. It can mean, uh, you know, different things happening to your body during the day. I've had the pleasure of being revisited by hot flashes like I've never had before. And so I will find myself bursting into an energetic sweat during the day or at night as my body attempts to move that energy through it to the surface and then out. So all of this is taking place and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's having these experiences. If you are, ask your intuition what you need to do in that moment to help your body. You may need to rest. You may need to do some breathing exercises to recenter. You may actually need to go get a cold drink and help cool your body off. That's what's happening for you. So just follow what your body is telling you it needs and follow it in that moment. So I was talking to the Galactics this morning about all these events and all these energetics that are coming in. And they talked to me about event points, or what we call decision points. They referred to them as event points, and I thought that was pretty interesting. They said event points take place on a personal level, on a community level, and on a global level. And we are seeing this in the decisions that are made right now. What I heard was that even personal decisions can have a global effect and actually do. So they talked to me about the different decision points that I've had in my life. My decision to go to school and go to college, my decision to get married, my decision to have a family, my decision to move to the places that I chose to move. And while I experienced them as very personal decision points or event points, they had a lasting effect on those around me and also contributed to my community and global events based on how I felt about them. So if I made a decision that I felt really good about, that happy frequency went out into the, the community, out into the world, and it connected with everyone else who was happy about decisions they made. Of course, the converse is true. And when I was unhappy with the decisions that I made and dropped into that lower frequency, that connected with everyone else in that frequency and also um, jumped an octave and made me feel and them feel even lower. So it is best, they said, not to look at decision points as good or bad but to look at them as events with particular challenges and events with particular joys. And that if we could remove our judgment about them, we would understand that they were simply decision points. Now, you may feel that having children is not that impactful in terms of the rest of the world. And yet, you may have a child that's an inventor. You may speak to someone and inspire them. And the decision to have that conversation could make all the difference in the community and the world. So we never know the extent of all of our decisions, 
but we do have the ability to look down the path of each decision that we make or have made, and we can extrapolate where that will take us. So as an intuitive, I have a lot of people come to me with uh, asking for help in making their decisions. And sometimes they're very disappointed because I don't make decisions for other people. I feel that we have free will and that it is our job to make our own decisions. But I also feel that as an intuitive, I can look at a decision from a higher perspective and give that person some guidance on what their path will look like if they make that decision or if they make a different decision or if they make no decision at all. I try and I know great intuitives will always try to walk the fine line between influence, guidance, and control. We do not want to control your decisions. We want to give you guidance and give you information so that you can make an informed decision. If someone is attempting to influence your decision, you might want to step back and think about that because I can tell you what I think you should do, but you're the person who's going to have to live that decision. And so you want to make that decision for yourself. When I asked my galactic brother Aharon about this, he said, we're not infallible. We can only guide and we do not seek to make decisions for you either. I have found that very frustrating in the past because there have been times where I've looked up and said, well, what should I do? And heard nothing. So sometimes I have to make the decision and it is in my lap. Sometimes I've heard very clearly a whisper nudging me in a certain direction, which might be easier for me or might be more beneficial for me or my body will feel very agitated because it knows that the path that I'm looking to go down is not going to be good for me. And for me, that works as a restlessness. I will lose sleep. I won't be able to take that decision out of my mind. And even after I think I've made a choice, it will keep coming back and keep coming back. Once I have made the correct choice for me, everything in me settles down and I find an inner peace comes in. And that may happen for you and be a good guidepost for you as you move forward. We want to be informed about our decisions. We want to feel good about them. And so feel your body. Connect with your soul. Your soul has the best information for you. Your soul is going to be the best guiding force that you can connect with. But ultimately, you will have to make the choice. And so that's going to be very important for you to sit down, think about your decision, and see what the path looks like ahead of you once you've made that decision. I've been told repeatedly that we are awake, we are aware, and we can choose our own path at this time. And this is going to be very, very important for us. I love the fact that we have free will. I understand that we are the only planet in this cosmos that has free will. And I have been told that only one is allowed in each cosmos. And after I look at what we've done as humanity with free will, I can understand why that limit is there. We've created so much chaos with our free will that it would be very difficult for everyone else in the universe to manage if there were a bunch of planets with uh, populations making all these free will choices. Free will is a gift and it is a responsibility. I remember Edgar Cayce saying once, and I'm paraphrasing, that we have no free will except to choose to meditate or not. And what I feel he was referring to was our decision to connect to our higher source or not. To live a life connected to soul and guided by soul or 
to live a life cut off from source. And I think you know which one would be a better and easier life for you. So if you've made decisions that you wish to change, work on changing them. Ask your intuition what you need to do, how you need to prepare so that you can change, so that you can move forward. If you are happy with your decisions, then ask your intuition how you can fuel them, how you can sustain them, how they can grow and you can expand. Energy coming into the planet right now is absolutely wonderful for making decisions and making choices with awareness that are really going to benefit you as you go forward. So take this ascension energy, take this eclipse energy, take the cosmic energies coming in, invite them into your body and decide to change. Decide to be happier. Decide to live a fuller life. Decide to be empowered. We have the option and the free will to do that. And if you are not exercising your free will in the most beneficial way for you, you are giving it up and throwing it away because there are many planets in this cosmos that would love to have what we have. And that is free will choice. So I'm going to encourage you to choose to take care of yourself Choose to love yourself. Choose to find joy in every moment of the day. Choose to laugh at the things that are sticking in your side at the moment, right? So when, when I sit and, and I watch my body swell up from the energy or heat up from the, 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 my body trying to dissipate the energy, I just have to laugh about that because I know that it's going to find equilibrium and I'm going to do everything I can to help my body find that. I'm committed to living a happy life, a life filled with light and love and service. And as a result, my choices and my decisions follow that commitment. What are you committed to? Are you committed to unhappiness? Are you committed to powerlessness? Are you committed to trying to take control of someone else to give you what you want? Or are you committed to living your best life ever? Are you committed to loving yourself fully and enjoying the life that you have in any place that you can find that enjoyment? Are you committed to lifting others and sharing yourself with others? Once you know what you are committed to, your event, event frequencies will follow, your decision frequencies will follow, and they will reverberate in every direction and clear the path for you to achieve what it is you're committed to. So in this next week, until we get to May, I want you to please sit and make a conscious decision to be aware of what you are committed to. And if you find yourself committed to something that you're not in alignment with, you have the free will choice to change that. And I encourage you to do that. And I know that you are empowered to do that. So until next week, I wish you many, many blessings. And we'll look at May frequencies in, in the uh, next video. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching the videos. I really appreciate the comments and everybody stopping by. I really hope that they help, and I hope to see you again in the next video.